You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and I'm gonna be playing a game that didn't receive any home console port until like very recently, actually, for the Xbox One, I believe, uh, under Rare Replay, and this is Battletoads. And I do believe this is different from any other Battletoads game that was released during its time. It's nothing like the Super Nintendo version. Nothing like the NES version. But just like those versions, this is a beat-em-up. And uh, has that mode 7 effect similar to, sorry to say, Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. So yeah, looks like it's running great. Solid 60 frames per second. There's audio, unlike my previous game, which didn't have any audio. And Microsoft announced that a new Battletoads game is coming out this year, or maybe next year, I don't know. But something's coming at least. So. Um. Time to get reacquainted with the series, if you don't have the rare replay that is. Although if you do have the chance to play the rare replay, I think that should be a better choice. As it contains lots of other rare games that are certified classics, I guess. I um, personally have not played that. I don't have like an Xbox One or something. So this is the closest I can get. And I wonder how insane the difficulty of this game is. Since that's what the Battletoads is known for. For a beat em up game, this is pretty good. Oh, I can choose characters. Let's see if they have differences. Yeah, looks like the three toads have different moves. thought that was it. <laughs> I guess it can't be that easy. It's interesting though, since uh, this is the boss, if you're still able to kick them out like that. The 
despite the size of the sprites, there is no slowdown, which is a good thing. like it's more 2D. I can only move left and right. I have a crouch. And I'm dying against this guy. Mr. Frosty. Alright, let's try Pimple this time. Let's see what... Oh, I got teleported here. That's nice. Say this does remind me of that level in... I think it was stage 4 in um, the original Battle Toads on the NES. When it comes with the battle toads, though, I really liked the one where they teamed up with the double dragon. And um, I like the NES version for that just because of the music. I prefer the 8 bit synth. would ever need guns though. Well, okay. I wonder... I remember... I mean, I know that uh, Rash was in Killer Instinct. I wonder how popular was he? Because I got into the Killer Instinct uh, very late already when it was released on Steam. So it's actually mostly dead online for me. I couldn't find any match. So I wonder just how popular um, the crossover turned out to be. And if Will he return if uh, there's a new Killer Instinct, if ever? So that would be interesting, actually. He should be like a regular. And I do believe he also crossed over with the Shovel Knight. 
which I think made the Xbox version of Shovel Knight the best. I've only seen uh, the YouTube videos of those though. It's pretty interesting to see that the Toads are the one training the Shovel Knight. Anyway, I think that should be it for this video. And this is once again the Battle Toads arcade game. This did not come out on the PlayStation. And uh, all right, thanks for watching. 8 bit days a week. If you have any other game you'd like to see, let me know in the comments and like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.